Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I just got done mounting up an optic to the Beretta APX A1 that we recently got in, and I ran into a couple things that I think are worth noting or worth considering for people that are looking to mount an optic on one of these. So I wanted to shoot a video about that while the thoughts are still kind of fresh in my head. So let's jump in and take a look. Actually, first, before we jump in, just a couple housekeeping notes. Number one, I leave links to everything that I talk about in my videos on the blog links page, which is linked down in the description below. Number two, any firearm that you see in this video is unloaded. This one is obviously broken down, and there's also no ammunition anywhere around me. Number three, I am in a space that is dedicated just for firearms. And number four, if you like or appreciate what I'm doing here, consider throwing me a super thanks. Just like everything else you see on the channel, the weapons, the optics, the ammo that I use to test, all that stuff is funded out of my own pocket, so any and every little bit definitely helps. So a little bit of background on my setup here. I am mounting up a Swamp Fox Justice, which uses a Trigicon RMR footprint onto the Beretta APX A1 full size. This is already optic cut from the factory, so it is ready to accept optics, but it isn't actually completely ready to accept optics from the factory. You need to use an adapter plate, just like a lot of other optic ready handguns from the factory. Now, Beretta does not include any optic plates from the factory in the case, so you're gonna have to go to the website and buy one. I paid $30 plus shipping, I think it was just under $40, maybe a little bit more than that, shipped to my door for this plate. This is the Trigicon plate, and I will roll in some footage here so you can see the model number and serial number and everything that comes in the package with that. And that is what I'm using to mount this up. The second thing I noticed that's worth considering is that Beretta does not throw in any tools for removing the slide cover plate or for actually mounting up an optic to the APX A1. A lot of manufacturers will throw in like an Allen key or something like that. There's nothing like that in the box. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a good quality set of Allen keys at the very least. Also a torque driver I use to torque down the mounting screws when I'm done, but at the very least an Allen key and some thread locker when you do this. Okay, number three, the third thing I noticed, the screws that hold the factory slide plate are very fragile and very easy to strip with just any old Allen key. So be really careful when you take the factory slide plate off because it's super easy to strip out those screws. Number four, I just wanted to throw in a look at the mounting system that Beretta uses. It's kind of a unique system. It's got two offset mounting lugs that are really big on the back of the slide. I'll roll in some footage here, and it's got some pre-drilled holes for the optic mounting screws as well. Just kind of a cool design, and I wanted to take a look at it. Now, number five, when you go to mount up your optic, the plate, as you can see, goes in between the slide and the optic itself. It kind of adapts the footprint of the optic to the plate. So you take the slide, you take the cover plate off, you drop the mounting or adapter plate on, and then you put your optic on top of that. And then the screws go through both of them. Now, speaking of screws, that's actually what caused me to make this video. Beretta includes these screws with the optic adapter plate to use to mount your optic to the slide. These screws I do not think are long enough at all. I got maybe a turn and a quarter of engagement into the slide after I went through the optic and the adapter plate. I actually also have an iron side shield that goes around this that adds even a little more thickness to this. And with that in place, there was no way these screws were gonna go through into the slide. So I had to take that off. And even then, again, I only got like one and a quarter turns of engagement. I tried to see if I had some screws that were a little bit longer that were the correct thread pitch that I could use with this but I did not. I checked the Swamp Fox box and I think I checked a couple other optic boxes where I have screws laying around and I could not find the correct screw. I don't have the correct thread pitch off the top of my head, but just take that into consideration, especially if you're running optics that are a little bit thick, like this Swamp Fox, you're gonna wanna make sure that the screws that Beretta gives you will engage into the slide probably a bit more than mine. I don't re I'm not really happy with the amount of engagement that I got. And number six, seven, I don't even know what point I'm on. Last but not least, I always tell people, use thread locker when you mount this optic. So you're gonna put the plate down, then you're gonna put the optic on top of it, then you're gonna take your screw, put some thread locker on there, drop the screw in and screw it down. And preferably torque it down with a torque driver as well. But at the bare minimum, use some thread locker on these screws. Now, after all that, um, we've got the optic mounted up. Another thing to consider is that the sight's nowhere near co-witness with, with that dot. Like, as you can see, it's 
it's not even close. Like, they don't even come up past the bottom body of this optic. Knew that was going to happen because of how shallow the cut in the slide was, but if you want even a really low co-witness, you're going to want new sights for your slide. So those are my just really quick thoughts on mounting an optic to a Beretta APX. Overall, the process is pretty straightforward. It's it's really just those screws in that engagement. Um, I really wish Beretta would throw in a tool and a couple of different varieties or like lengths of screws to make sure that people with different optics can get them screwed down securely. As it is, I'm going to have to go pull these screws out and go to like a local hardware store or something like that and find out what thread pitch this is and get some longer screws that will thread down a little bit more into the slide so that I'm a little bit more comfortable with it. But I just wanted to share my thoughts with y'all. That's everything I've got for you this time. If you appreciate what I'm doing here, throw me a like or a comment because it definitely helps me out with the algorithm very, very much. I thank you very much for jumping on in here. That's all I've got for you this time. So until next time, stay safe.